right? Because I realized something. When I started studying successful people, what I realized successful people do is that they don't go with the days, they go with the hours. And if you only have 24 hours in a day and you sleep in eight of those hours, then you only have what left? You ain't, you don't, listen to me, you only operate with 16 hours to be successful. Now, let's leave, let's leave sleep alone. You slept for eight hours, you got 16 hours left. How many of y'all talk on the phone? Right? You, you have talked away your success. So some of you, if you look at your day, you probably spend an hour or two hours on the telephone. And what, this is what's crazy about the telephone. It's not a redeemable value. So when you talk to your homegirl on the phone and you gossiping with your girl, I'm not talking about the phone conversation. I'm not tripping about that. What I'm tripping about is you eating away at your hours. So you only have so many hours in a day to be successful. Eight of them just went to sleep. Another two of them went to what? Talking on the telephone. Listen to me, that's 10 out of 24. You only got 14 left to be successful. And out of that 14, some of it you're using the cab. You was in the cab for about an hour chilling. Right, two, I got two. You in there too, right? Listen to what I'm saying. You have less than eight hours, some of you, to get what you need to get done. And I'm not tripping, you can use your time like you want to. But if you're only putting in eight hours a day and you think you're gonna be successful when you get out of here, you got another thing coming. People who are, let me say something, I wanna say something real quick about success. Success, whether you know it or not, is very intentional and deliberate. There has never ever been a person who blew up and was successful and it happened by chance. He said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. I don't know how many of y'all got asthma in here today, but if you ever had an asthma attack before, you short of breath, SOB. Shortness of breath, you wheezing. The only thing you trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You got to be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it.